This is Stephen Kravis with a quick tutorial about how to best export um, the final video from an iMovie project. So you go to Share, Export using QuickTime, go to Options, and for Settings, um, you just want to make sure that it's at best on this slider. Sometimes it's somewhere else in the middle. Um, you want to use best quality multipass, and you say OK on that. Um, filters not really needed unless you want to do some kind of special filter effect. Size, uh, just make sure that it's at the full original resolution that you output the that your um, camera fil uh, filmed it in. In this case, I used an iPhone for this um, video and uh, it was in 1920 by 1080 resolution. This one's very important. Uh, don't leave that unchecked. Make sure you check de-interlace source video. And for sound, um, this is sort of a compromise. You could go for um, you could go for Apple Lossless, but I believe that will add a lot to your file size. That would probably be the best quality audio. Um, but you can go with AAC. Um, 192 is a good rate, kind of a compromise, and as tends to be, in the end, quite good for streaming online these days. Um, you can go higher than that if you want higher quality, but I think you won't hear too much difference. And the encoding strategy, um, average bit rate is fine. And just click OK. And OK. And then that's what you do is you save it like that. And it will start telling you um, how long it's going to take to save. And then you'll have your final uh, video file that's optimized for YouTube.